going on YouTube? It's your boy, That Singer Reactions, coming to y'all. Special Patreon request. We are on Patreon still. We are still going along with, thank you for the nudge, Sam Harris. Samantha Harris, shout out to you. Um, I saw this one and I thought this was pretty interesting. This was one of yours that you picked. Touch the Fire, 40 Years Live Ice House. Wait, I've done Ice House, right? Because I've done Ice House on Michael Panther. Yup, I have. Okay, so yeah, we're about to dive more into Ice House. Okay. All right, so let's jump into this. Don't forget my Patreon is in the description where you get exclusive access, early content, and special requests. PayPal and Cash App is open for the rest of the day today, and it'll be closed by tomorrow. So um, get your stuff in before tonight strikes, midnight. I'm going to say midnight. All right, here we go. And also my P.O. Box is in the description as well. So feel free to send me whatever it is you'd like to send me. All right, let's jump into this. Of course, I have to make it transparent because YouTube is starting to get very, very strict with it. Oh, no, 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 what did I just do? Oh, I think that's just like a... When I, when I joined the band, Ivor um, asked me if I could sing a few of the songs just to sort of take part and to add something different to the to the live show. Did y'all tell me Michael Panther was a part of Ice House? Or am I tripping? I might be tripping. Um, one of those was obviously Man of Colors, and we've been through a couple others over the years. Um, and uh, Touch the Fire is, is the one that we're doing at the moment. Okay. Um, and it's really just a really cool 80s pop rock sort of, you know, tight pants, big Man hair of Colors. type song. I remember that, I feel like. Um, and I have tight pants and big hair, so I fit the bill Let me see. quite well. So it's really great, great to sing. A um, lot of big high notes. When did this dude get buff like that? He like ripped. It's a lot of screaming guitar solos and and um, it's a real pleasure to get to feel like Bon Jovi for four and a half minutes. Hi. I think actually he's doing a bit of a clearance yeah, man, of on this yeah. one at the moment if you I want to one. get on the website and check that out, by the way. I think there's, uh, he called me and said I need to move 200 of those. So I said, don't That's worry, I've got it covered. Touch the Fire just came out as I joined the band and I love that song. Another one that I use the Les Paul on, um, and I love it. I love the sustain at the start. I think the solo is so well put together. It's got big, fat, chunky chords all the way through it. It's a great song to play, and I think it's a great pop song. And I'm, I'm just surprised. I, I, I really wish, f for the band's sake, it had a charted higher, because I think it's a great pop song, a great rock pop song. Uh, Touch the Fire, now, again, another saxophone solo. And I, again, that one I play exactly as per the original, because it's just that. a really well constructed um solo um keyboard wise i've just i've just no. got a pad part to play but um i like playing that solo it's a very um very well constructed pop solo it still is a bit hot <laughs> that's a bit uh, sorry but sorry go ahead um yeah michael is uh it's interesting with michael michael because i always feel like i'm kind of He's, he's, he's like a, an, in, an incredibly um, energetic puppy that you've got to kind of keep pulling in the lead all the time. Um, no, Michael's not. And so, his band is a lot older than Michael, I think. So, uh, and also the other thing is his voice is naturally placed in such a high register that there are things in Touch the Fire that he can't sing. So that's, you know, I sing the verses because it's really actually it's below where he's comfortable singing. Um, Having said that, he's got this extraordinary high range, and he loves to he cool. loves to to let it loose, okay. um, which is basically what he does. And I actually said to him um, yesterday uh, that I was sitting down and listening because we we're working on some mixes at the moment of some live stuff that we did, and I, we got I got to this point where I was listening to touch, the recording of "Touch the Fire," and he hits a top F sharp above a, to, a tenor's top C, and that is just basically out of the kind of universe of what is possible with the human voice. And I said to him, what the hell? You know, His voice is I had no, I hadn't been concentrating that much. When I heard this thing play back and he hit this ridiculous note, I just went, that's just impossible. Wait, is this what we got to hear? Like a priestess told me She 
is high, man. Just where he started was high. That's where he's at. Forever at it. That's where he's at in terms of range. She takes possession. She has control. Next to you, I can touch the fire. When the fever takes a hold. Next to you, I can touch the fire. Come on, little girl. This song, like they said, Poppy. So, so I take it this song didn't do that well on the charts, which a lot of songs don't. But this is one of the songs that they said they wished had done real good because it do. It sounds so radio ready to me. Wait, is Michael Pantera the only one doing that? No. Somebody hold. Somebody sustain it. Okay. Do it all the way to the left. It's how easy he can hit that note. That note is not hard for me to hit, but how easy it is for him to hit it, it's not easy for me to hit that note. And he can go higher. Careful, Mike. You're going into Yeah. That might be what he's talking about. That's a high. That was above an F. That was. That might be what he's talking about. F backwards. She takes possession. She has. That was not even false. He would, that was, that was that even a mid, he. Touch the fire. Touch the fire. That's not even a mix. He belted that. That was a complete belt. I didn't hear him slide nowhere almost to a falsetto. It's he just belted that. And then look how he came back down. was crazy. Women are the ones that's hitting them kind of notes. One more time. Just 
When I when I joined the band, I ever um, asked me if his voice is really really crazy. I mean, the whole band is dope if you just hear them just playing as musicians. But you just can't ignore Michael Panter there. Like that dude said, the way this dude is hitting this, I'm assuming that he was talking about Michael Panther, right? That that note was the the one note was already crazy. D he did the fire. He did that, and I'm just like, okay, well, he's up in heaven with that note. So uh, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on all my social media platforms. Everything is in the description. To the next video, peace.